Hello, YouTube and everybody else. Um, I know I haven't been really updating my videos. That's because I've been working and I've been very busy. But, um, yeah, so this is today's look. It looks so pigmented when it's in some good lighting, like right here right now. And then when I move up, it looks kind of lighter than what it really is. But this is basically look. It's some, um, some shimmery, mm, dark blue, midnight blue, and some gold, and a little bit of reddish brown at the top. Um, what did it say? I don't know when I, I've been like rehearsing, not rehearsing, but testing the video, and for some reason, um, the sound when I talk is like a, a noise in the back, so if you do hear that noise, I apologize, hopefully you can hear me, but anyway, let's get started, because I don't have time, and you know I love talking. So what I did was, the first thing I did was take this um, white pencil, you can take any white pencil, and trace and trace the outline that you're going to make. So as you can see, I took the white pencil and trace the winged out shape that I have right here. I didn't do it to the bottom one, I just did it to the top. Then I um, keep putting it on my then I blended it all the way into the lid and then I put some primer. So that's just your base to get you started. Now I'm trying to get up a little closer. Now what you do is take a smudge brush with this small brush called angle brush. Use your base, I use my zine or whatever you use. Then excuse me. Okay. Then with your palette, this is kind of dirty, I think I mentioned that before. I'm using um, like a reddish brown color, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is part of the 88 um, shimmer palette. And if you have this palette, it's in the row right next to all the pink. So it's this row and it's the third one, right here. So I'm going to dip that in there. You can see it. It's like a reddish brown. So I'm going to dip that color in there. Dip it in my base, which is right here. And then basically, I'm just going to trace the white line exactly how I do it. So I'm trying to get as close to the camera as I can so you guys can see. So this tree. Don't worry if it's not as straight as you want it to be because you will fix it up and clean it up at the end of everything. But yeah, so just basically clean. can't pull this thing and like you places. Anyway, can you catch my dress, make sure it's even so I trace it. We'll just bring it out a little bit at the end. It looks pretty even to me. I'm gonna make sure these two are even as well. Now, all you want to do is blend it in. So, I don't know if it's really okay. So, yeah, just blend it. Now, blend the color in.
so yeah, I will try to get videos out as much as I can, but you guys have to understand that I do have a job, and it's really hard, so this is actually my day off and training, so I'm not doing anything, but yeah, so the thing to that, this is probably going to take forever, so get ready for like part 2, part 3, part 4. I'm just evening out this one. Try to make it as bold as you can. It's really out there and staying baby. It's funny. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I'm talking so well. So yeah, I'm going to do that. So as you can see, I basically traced it and just blended it out where it needs to be blended. Then when a piece of tissue fix your mistake, whatever you did, just fix it. No, that's broke. My skin is blended. Okay. So, A Q-tip would be easier, but I really don't need a Q-tip. You got it. Make it so easy. That works for me. So fix up whatever you need to fix up, and that's what it should look like so far. After you blend it, make sure you blend it down this way, just like this. Okay. Now, what you want to do is um, get your next color, which is the lid color, and for that, I use. Urban Decay, um, one of their palettes, I'm not sure, and I use their copper color, it's called copper, and it's, it's, it's like, um, a real goldish brown shimmery color, you can see kind of what it looks like, yeah, so I'm using my base again, this is what I'm doing, and then with the same brush, I just, I just realized I used the wrong brush, but that one works anyway. Where's my other brush? This is why I take this one, because I need to... Okay. This is the brush I'm supposed to use. Same thing, but I'd rather use this one. So yeah, use your base. Then dump your, um, kitchen brush. Use your color, place it inside your base or whatever, and then trace underneath. Use our goal to make the same exact shape, but right underneath is a burning color. You see how I'm just following the shape of the um the burgundy or yeah brownish red. And my hand is completely covered with all this. So yeah. So continue to do that. You see that it exactly in the Sorry, I don't know, my nose is really, really itchy, like really bad. Mm. 
not the exact color. And blended, blended gray. Now, you're going to put it all over the slit and make sure when you get to the corner to wing it out up the slit. So, this is the same thing over and over with the same color all over your lips. Simple. And I like this look because no blending is off. Mm, a little bit of blending, but nothing else. To make it faster, I'm just going to take a regular eyeshadow. There goes my lip gloss. A regular eyeshadow brush. Hope I'm not talking too low. Well. It's just the people in the house are shy. So, yeah. Now I got to get the bigger brush. I put it into that goldish brown color and put it all over my lid. And if it looks a mess, don't worry. It's all going to be fixed and cleaned up at the end of it. At the end of this whole look, it will all be cleaned up. There you go. Place it all over the mirror. I'm really excited. Like you can see from back behind me, that's my makeup station where I have everything or whatever it is. But I just ordered some new things, so my makeup station is gonna be huge and I can't wait to show everybody. When it's completely finished, I'll make a video of how it looks and everything like that. I have some requests of people who do want certain looks done, but for the rest, they always hit me up like, oh, um, why haven't you made any new videos or something? They're like, um, I don't make things without people. If people don't request it, then I won't do it because I feel like you guys are really not watching my videos, but if you are, request a look what you want to see. Whatever. So yeah, I'm just going back in with the um burgundy color. And blending So as you can see, it's all coming together. Now that's done. I wasted like 15 minutes talking and doing that. So now I'm gonna do part two, which is basically the blue and that's uh, oh and the highlight. And it's just a blue. It just takes time because you gotta get the angles right, etc., etc.